Sid. Hey. <laughs> How are you, Sid? I am good. And Bitcoin is? Yeah, Bitcoin is going up. I literally forgot to check how big it was today. Let me just check now. Go. Yeah, it touched 44 briefly, I believe. It touched 44 yes, day before yesterday or today? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Th this is crazy, but not unexpected because mm. of all the news which is coming for ETF. Yes. Uh, so people are coming back into it and everyone is getting interested right now so we will see a big 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 release coming for the next two years yeah and they're even saying that we might hit 50k by the by the third week of December yeah I don't believe that not far away I think second week of uh, January right yeah no. because ETF is uh, probably gonna approve around that time Mm -hmm. So whenever you get this kind of news, you they will touch 48 to 50K or maybe cross that a bit. Yeah. And then a massive drop mm. right after that. Because all the people who were banking on this news, who are banking on this ETF news, mm -hmm. they're going to take their profit. Yeah. So as absolutely. soon as it touch 50K, they're going to start selling. So it will come back to uh, 35K. Mm -hmm. Or forty k. Well, it was well, it's we going to take know. a correction, a substantial. But it's going to definitely take a big correction. So. Yeah, yeah, and it will be the same with the halving event that we we expect to happen in March or April. So the well. halving event is like three months ahead, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, a, I think they are expecting it around March or April. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some we cannot know the exact date, but this is the time they are expecting it to be. Mm -hmm. So that time, Bitcoin will shoot up. That will be, you will be seeing almost all time high. So mm -hmm. 80, 90K of Bitcoin. Yeah. Not a financial advice, but this is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. want anybody to buy it and then blame me. I'm not giving it <laughs> advice. Don't call Sid if you lose all your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not going to lose your money, but yeah. it's just it's exactly, sweet. we don't know. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about selling when the time's right and taking profit, right? Yeah. So, yeah, this is what all the big traders do. Mm -hmm. so they know the time when they're going to buy and they're going to sell. So I'm yeah. telling you, so big correction will happen in January after ETF, mm -hmm. if it approved. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will keep rallying it around. If it, mm -hmm. okay, if it's approved, we'll see a small correction. If it rejected... Mm. then we will see a big drop. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I don't think there is a chance of it getting rejected. rejected. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So, and then really big drop will come in May. Mm. First or second week of May. That mm -hmm. will be like 50% down. Yeah, yeah. So if the Bitcoin is at 80k, it will come back to, to 40. 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something else very exciting happened with one of our favorite celebrities, Alex Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually was listening to his interview with Tucker Carson. Yes. Again, second mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. just before his podcast. So when you started at that time, I stopped. So basically, what the main thing is, he is being banned from everywhere. Like, <laughs> literally everywhere. <laughs> The only way he can commute is, uh, communicate is through his own website, which is infowars.com. A lot of people go there. Yes. It's not as convenient as like having course, something on Twitter. YouTube. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Elon Musk took over the Twitter, he said it's going to be a free speech uh, platform. platform. Yeah. And then uh, everybody will have a right to speak. Mm -hmm. So he allowed everyone mm -hmm. over there but not Alex <laughs> Jones, Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> everyone okay, so, but disclaimer still no Alex <laughs> <laughs> somebody asked him like yeah why not Alex Jones he said yeah if you mess with our kids then we will 
then you're banned. So it's along those lines. If you mess mm-hmm. with our kids, you will be banned or something. But the thing mm-hmm. is, he did not actually mess with it. But the thing is, he messed with everyone. Yeah. So so he's the guy who threw darts at everything. Mm-hmm. Some of them are on the point, but some of them he yeah. Missed. Yeah. So the Sandy Hook case was mm-hmm. that. He... And he always fall into the wrong side of the conspiracy, right? Mm-hmm. So he also fell into the uh, election stolen in January 6, where the people remember in January 6, people attacked mm-hmm. the, the, the Congress, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the House, yes, yeah, the Capitol, basically. So he was there, but he was smart enough to run away before everything. <laughs> got out of control so he saved himself but the sandy hook he wasn't able to so sandy hook basically is a mass shooting, shooting. of the kids yeah, and he said it was fake he said like it was all actors and everything yes yeah but it's not him a lot of people were saying it. it's just he had a voice at that time of course but basically he just said something stupid which is horrible and was like really condemnable but i don't think saying something like that Mm-hmm. should be like you should be prosecuted like that because it's not just he's banned but he's also sued for like well, there were legal million dollars. Proceedings. yeah so that should be that it shouldn't be reflected in social no, media but, but you know the the amount of fine they put on him is like mm-hmm. one trillion dollar or something <laughs> <laughs> not oh, one trillion dollar but like <laughs> billions of dollars like twitter, twitter ban and the fine he said like are you fucking insane? Nobody has that kind of money. Isn't it funny because you can kill someone and get less? Yeah. But he just said something that was incorrect. Exactly. And that's a punishment. And this is what is very questionable because people, when you say Sandy Hook, the word, mm-hmm. people think of Alex Jones, but not the actual killer. Yeah. Yeah. The person who killed, nobody cares about him. I don't Seems even know what happened him. to that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But the guy who just made a conspiracy out of it, you just persecuting. And he apologized and he said, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. If somebody is saying that, that's fine because this is nothing compared to what happened with the wars. Like the, all mm-hmm. the media lies mm-hmm. about it. You remember the weapons of mass destruction in mm-hmm. Iraq? Yes. Nothing was there. They just caused a war. Millions of people died because of yeah. that war. All mm-hmm. these journalists were saying that, but no persecution on that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, and, the rules don't fit for everyone, Sid. Yeah. And this is what is important why Alex Jones, because he is not only the guy who predicted 9 11, which mm-hmm. will come back, but he mm-hmm. also predict. he also exposed. Jeffrey Epstein, he also exposed yes. Bohemian uh, Grove. Bohemian Grove. Yeah. Oh, he also predicted one thing, Russia-Ukraine mm. war, before that war mm. happened. Gee. Nobody knew that the war is about, there was like skirmishes, but the full-fledged war, he gave the exact timeline that it will happen in February and it happened mm. around that. Wow. He predicted the pandemic as well. Yes. Yeah. It's not like he have the psychic no. spirits who are telling him. He's no, no. just like very keen observer. And so, I didn't and realize that, his father was an ex-CIA agent. Yeah, he, he was. He had like a very big background. Yeah. Around okay. those things. So that's why they are just targeting him because they want to silence him. The thing is, there are like a lot of documents and all these things are written in documents, but mm-hmm. nobody reads those documents. Absolutely. Who's going to pick through? He's that guy who go in the deep yeah. and read everything yeah. and then find out that this is about to happen. That's how he predicted the 9-11. Mm-hmm. That's how he predicted Jeffrey Epstein pandemic. Yeah. And he's predicting a next pandemic. So yeah. he's mostly reading the intelligence documents. And right. he said all these kind of things are not from whistleblowers, yeah, but okay. also f- like written in the road map of the new world order. Wow, yeah. So he said, like, we already know that they're going to create wars after wars, reduce the world population and everything. Mm-hmm. This is the part of the whole road map. So he's going with that. But yeah, he also have whistleblowers, but he don't go 
on the whistleblower category, he mm. just says that what I'm saying is already written in your documents. Mm. 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 So this is why he is way more dangerous. Like also, he's just like come to the conclusion. So it's not like in documents is written that we're gonna do that. It's just mm -hmm. like they re write something vaguely. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then he Always. figure out like what they yeah, do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So mm -hmm. this is why he's dangerous. His um his prediction about nine eleven was recorded, right? It's June. like yeah. So it okay, but it's not like in any prediction mm -hmm. was to the point that pl planes will crash into World Trade Center. <laughs> it's crazy. Wildly accurate. Yeah. T T Tucker Carlson was like mm -hmm. in his interview said like I was deep into those people who were involved with the agency at that time. Mm -hmm. but Tucker Carlson is like one of the biggest name in like the biggest name in the media in this media actually. Mm -hmm. He said like I have no I had no idea in 2000 mm -hmm. 11 or 2001 that this could even happen there was mm -hmm. not a remote chance and you predicted accurately so this is amazing that he predicted that accurately. and it's time stamped like you can't fake yeah. that yeah yeah it's pretty so, amazing and then he's wrong because he a lot of the times too people need to understand it's not just like he's always it's right because a lot of the time yeah. he, he's wrong like well, he was very yeah. big into 2012 i guess yes like, you know, the 2012 world mm -hmm. is going to end. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was big on that, which never happened. Mm. Yeah, well, he's a general conspiracy theorist, right? Generally. He's into everything. <laughs> but a lot of the time he says something, oh, gay frogs. He came up with that. Gay frogs. Tell me this one's it. <laughs> so <clears throat> he came, so it's not actually gay frog, but, but this is, he started this conspiracy that, chemicals mm -hmm. which are given to us i don't mm -hmm. even remember the exact chemical but mm -hmm. we are consuming it they mm -hmm. are releasing that in the water mm -hmm. and the frogs on those water turning gay but he didn't mean gay he meant transgender like their gender oh, changing. okay right and everybody was making fun of him, like, oh, he's the guy who says frogs are turning gay because of humans something. Yeah. And then scientists did a research and it turned out to be 100% true. This really? is happening. Well, but the point is, like, Alex Jones was too on the dot on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So interesting. But, but they got him crazy because amount of pressure he got. Now I don't think I... It's not like I will believe anything... He say mm, right now, of course, yeah, because they got him crazy. The pressure they put yeah. on him, not any nobody can handle that. So I think yeah. from this point onwards, I don't think he is very reliable. But back in the day, he was very yeah, reliable. because I've kind of discredited him, right? Yeah, and it's really hard to come back from that. Yeah, yeah. It's not even that he's just like the, he have to pay nine billion dollars. <laughs> it's like how I'm gonna pay that. Especially when essentially you can't work anymore anyway because yeah, exactly. you've been made to look like a clown. Yeah, like he is already bankrupted, right? So, yeah, you just say you're bankrupt at that point. You yeah. just hang out on an island with no shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you get a different an anonymous personality, and then you can continue with the conspiracy theories. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, like if they ask him like nine, ten million dollars, he would have paid. Yes. Because I think he could easily afford that and get rid of it. But yeah. the amount they gave him is like nobody will pay. Nobody but, can pay. Yeah. They will just. And I don't think he's broke because I think he's smart enough to save money somewhere. Yeah. Else. He just declared bankruptcy and he's fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. On Absolutely. paper, you can't track it. So he's just like, okay, I'm not <laughs> working, but he will be. Uh, so funny, Sid. Okay, speaking of smart people, tell me about this Iraqi scientist. Oh, so people, yeah, people need to understand before West has this science, there was like actual scientists back in the day in. Mm -hmm. the, no, ninth or tenth century, oh, so, yeah. which came out of Baghdad, and Baghdad used to be the 
hub of knowledge. Yes. Right now, when you hear, hear Baghdad, you hear terrorism, you think of terrorism. Mm -hmm. Yes. But back in the day, it was the whole different situation. Yes. It was, realized. yeah, it was like a very peaceful city. Yes. It was the center of the world. Like yes. New York is the center right now at that time. Back mm -hmm. All the European, all the people used to come there to study. Mm -hmm. So in that time, there were a lot of big scientists Mm -hmm. who were famous but then there was like a mysterious secret group mm -hmm. nobody knows the member mm -hmm. but i still think they are like the same scientists who were famous around that time right but they don't want to disclose their name because their theories were literally like world shaking at that time so they right, want to yeah. say but i don't know who was a part of it mm -hmm. they say ibn al hatam was in there and so many other but let's just say forget the names because they didn't disclose it Mm -hmm. They just start dropping theories after theories. So they also come up with the multiverse theory back mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about a string theory. They have like a multiverse version mm -hmm. of it in that time. But the most important part of their uh, like whole research was one of them was like evolution. Mm -hmm. So they come up with the theory of evolution, which is very, which starts with. Uh, People can go and read that, but it's the end comes to the like start with something else. But in the mm -hmm. end, they said monkeys are the top of their animal kingdom, mm -hmm. and then humans came from the monkeys. Yes, yeah. To evolve from, but then it's not just from the monkeys. They go from animal kingdom to plant kingdom, plant kingdom mm -hmm. to minerals. Mm -hmm. So they. They actually designed it very well. Like mm -hmm. min from minerals, the plant came, and then mm. plants. They have a very good suggestion, like model of it. Yeah. Anyway, they built the biggest library in the world at that time. Wow. Library of Baghdad was. Everybody talk about Library of Alexandria, which mm. got burned mm -hmm. in the time of Cleopatra, but. Mm. Uh, then the biggest one was Library of Baghdad. Mm, okay. And Mongols attacked Baghdad. Yes. It's yeah. called Siege of Baghdad. And they burned everything. According to a legend, mm. that library was so big that it was it burned for 40 days. Wow. Because there was so much knowledge in Academia, there. Yeah. But, yeah, but it's a legend. I don't mm. know, right? Mm. Some people wrote that, but I don't know how true it's it's like happening. But yeah. So all the knowledge was mm. gone. Mm -hmm. And the, it's not like they let the people left. They killed everyone as well. Mm, yeah. So that information got lost. Anyway, mm. Mongols were eventually defeated and they were gone. Mongols gone. And then the final guy, mm. um, he was the biggest historian of 14th century. Mm -hmm. So he brought a very awesome book, like a comprehensive book called Mukaddama. Mm -hmm. The guy's name was Ibn Khuldun. So he's discussed every topic in there. Whatever everyone has mentioned in like last 500 years, mm -hmm. he tried sure. to combine from theology yeah, to it. psychology yeah. to science to everything. Mm -hmm. So in his book, he reiterated that theory of evolution mm -hmm. which is easily available to read because brethren of purity's document mostly got burned so it's very hard to find you can you might be able to find something mm -hmm. but book of like this this book called Mukadwa, it was printed in 14th mm -hmm. century so there are like a bunch of commonly copies, available like, yeah yeah okay. common like you can order the translated yeah. version sure. it's, it's original version is written in arabic Mm -hmm. You can also get that like translation. Translated, yeah. yeah. Or like you can literally search the topic of that and you will get and get uh, everything online as well. Yeah. That's how okay. I yeah. yeah. So again, they, he discussed the theory of evolution, which is very similar to the brethren of him, pure. Mm -hmm. And again, he said the same thing the how mm -hmm. life started mm -hmm. go from one place to another, to another, to another. And that's how man came to be mm. but they both said one thing mm. man is not the end mm. we could evolve into something else aliens yeah so this is a reminder to be seen anyway 
it got disregarded. Nobody cared about that. Yes. Because Ibn Khaldun was not only a, he was not a scientist, right? He was more like a historian and a writer. Right. So nobody cared. And then Darwin theory came in and then everybody just took over. Yeah. yeah. But these theory existed. And the only thing I hate is like the modern day scientists. Mm. When somebody brought that up, like to Sam Harris, that, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, no, they, these Muslims guys did that back in the day mm -hmm. twice. Yeah. He said, no, I don't believe Muslims are stupid. Okay, Muslims are stupid right now. That doesn't mean they were stupid for us. <laughs> but even like Muslims are some of the most academic people in the world. Like, if you, it doesn't matter if you don't agree with the religion. No. Yeah, but yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, some there are some stupid people who in hate, every culture, every yeah, race, so right? Sam Harris is like a big name in the world. I really yeah. despise him because he is like full of hatred. Yeah, so sure. I don't, I don't like people who just disregard everything and just blame everything on one group. And yeah, there are absolutely. There, right? Yeah. So he, somebody brought that up, and if you don't, know, and I'm pretty sure he didn't know about that, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, if you don't know something, the best thing is like I, best thing to say at that time is like I don't know. I, I will don't research. Know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I don't. saying no. This never <laughs> happened. Is like, are you stupid? Like, uh, and you are a scientist. Yeah. Like, scientists should not act in this way. Sci no, there is so like biased. a conduct. It's like, yeah. yeah, go and do a research and then come Absolutely. back to you. Absolutely. Yes. You. It, and it's okay not to know. Yeah. It make you an idiot can, because you haven't consumed all the information. Yeah, but this is what humans cannot know everything. No. Like, no one man can know everything. Right? No, because we aren't exposed to most of the information. Yeah. It's just not possible. The, the, the point is, like, your arrogance. Like, when mm. somebody's telling you you're just denying it because of your biases, that's not That's good. ignorant. That's true ignorance. Yeah. That's true. And back in the day, he used to be really big, right? Sam right. Harris was, like, yeah. the top name. Now he's not even on Twitter. He's disappeared. And he's not banned like Alex. <laughs> no, it, people stop listening to him because people realize he has no weight. Especially when the COVID thing, first of all, he went, again, it's not just he hate Muslims, right? He also mm -hmm. hate Donald Trump. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not a fan of, I don't like Donald Trump, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you just hate him because just because you hate him is not enough. Like you need to have a reason to disagree yeah, with someone. Absolutely. You just can't hate someone, especially you when you have that kind of a voice. He used to yes. be one of the biggest guys. Anyway, so and then he was going after right wing people. He was going after the doctors who were questioning the COVID vaccine. Oh, was he? <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, those doctors are nurses. Oh, no, they are still doctors. And as a scientist, that's their right to know. To what question. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if they're wrong, they still have a right to. Of course. Ask. Of course, everyone does. Everyone should. Yeah. So. We should always question the rules, why they exist. And then this is what happened, right? At the end of the day, those people are being respected and said, <laughs> well, this is gone. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, so good. <laughs> oh, okay, Sid. Thank you. You're All very right. informative. You taught me a lot tonight. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.